Meet the new artistic and executive director of Symphony San Jose. Robert Macy brings with him many years of experience in classical and modern music. Before he joined Symphony San Jose, he ran the Opera Festival in Chicago. My position is fairly unique. A lot of orchestras have kind of a bifurcated model. There's an executive director, there's a music director. We don't have a resident music director, so I serve as both executive director and artistic director. Symphony San Jose performed American Portraits, a musical road trip across the United States at the California Theater. This performance tonight really features American music and five completely different pieces. Um, we've got, uh, it's a musical road trip from literally New England to the American Southwest with stops along the way in, um, in Orange Groves, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and, um, and the Deep South. This was the first performance of a mandolin concerto in the 22 years of the organization's existence. Symphony Saint Jose welcomes people from all walks of life. Uh, you know, I think our programming is exciting. It's it's diverse. There's something for everyone. Um, we have, of course, the the classics, uh, but we also have lesser known pieces and newer pieces um, crossover uh, like today. Marilyn came from Saratoga and loved the performance and the conductor. I love it. I really love it, <laughs> and I hope the conductor comes back a million times. Uh, Chris Roundtree brings just an incredible amount of experience and imagination, uh, which is you know just something that we're looking for all the time in the symphony world. Musicians, we've really loved working with them this week, and um, I think you'll be able to see him come back in the future. This Saturday, Symphony San Jose brings Christmas at the California, and in January, AI takes the theater. For next week, we have the Christmas at the California program, which is a, a traditional holiday pops program that involves the symphony, the chorale, a youth chorus, the cantabile youth singers, uh, dancers from New Ballet, uh, a, a Broadway tenor, Ben Gully, and uh, even Santa will make an appearance. And then our next classics uh, concert will be in January with Automation, where we really tackle uh, a lot of the controversy surrounding AI and put that in through a lens of what does that mean through a symphony orchestra. So we've got a new work that's going to be uh, performed uh, which is a cello concerto and in the cello concerto there will actually be a hologram that will appear that will be generated by AI and play an AI piece and actually have kind of a cello battle with the live cello uh, soloist. And so it's, uh, it's going to be very, very unique. In San Jose, Glitzel Martins for News Up Now.